here are my two first two stabilizers I've made and this movie it's about comparison of uh, how they perform compared with no stabilizer when shooting in the move and here's the proof on the left side is the newest DXG set in 2D not in 3D and on the right is the Sony you can see that Sony having some internal stabilization it's kind of better shoot from the hand actually the two shots on diagonal were made together one hand with the stabilizer, right hand with stabilizer and left hand with the, the other camera and now I will present you the pipes 20 millimeter pipes and the Traxxas gimbal 5151 two bearings some washers you can see here that I have the same pipes actually the pipe left from this extension <laughs> of my plumbing here is the Merlin style with the Sony camera balanced here you can see the other Traxxas gimbal down this was the first gimbal for the flycam glidecam which didn't work well I couldn't balance this thing with the other gimbal so I made another one this one had some screws to adjust the position of the central bearing and now it's quite well balanced I'm satisfied with the balancing I couldn't believe I can make it after reading all this information of the net that's why I started the Merlin but in the meantime this works pretty well too and now the drop time this can be adjusted by moving up the weights and now another attempt here my son is shooting me with the other it's shaking shooting me <laughs> and I try to see why it's balancing why it's twisting so much yeah here I try to make a round after one round the camera went out of position <laughs> And now the back way is the two cameras in the row. Now the shot with the left hand, no stab, only the Sony internal stabilization. Not very bad. And this is the DXG camera which you saw just one moment ago it's kind of better floating so I think any stabilization it's better than no one especially for such cheap cameras which actually was eight times cheaper than the Sony and it's 3G and full HD that's it